Hi, Steve Vitale here for Technique Peak. Today we're going to be looking at the McMurray's test and a couple of the finer points to really help you assess if you get a true positive or not. Most people know our McMurray's technique and we all learn it in school as you externally rotate and extend or internally rotate and extend. But we want to make sure that we get full um, assessment of our meniscus. So what I'm going to do with meniscus pain, we get full flexion, oftentimes painful, but I'm going to come in and flex and I'm going to externally rotate her tibia through the position of my hand being here where I can hold and rotate her uh, easily in the tibia. I come this way. So now I have external rotation of the tibia, but the, the meniscus also is supposed to take compressive forces from a valgus or varus stress. So I'm going to utilize her hip. As long as her hips are okay with doing this, I'm going to externally rotate the tibia and also externally rotate her hip. This creates a, hold your leg here, this creates a compressive force at the medial meniscus as well. So relax. And so I'm here, and I keep that external rotation of the tibia and external rotation of the hip as I extend her leg. This creates the full amount of stress across the, uh, the meniscus. Same thing in the opposite direction. Again, you have to make sure her hips are okay with it, but when she, when I externally, I'm sorry, internally rotate the tibia through holding the foot this direction and twisting here, right? Now I'm gonna internally rotate her hip. Hold your leg here. This creates the compression from a valgus stress across her knee. So here, stress this way. And so I have her hip internally rotated. So once her hip can't rotate anymore, now the knee has to take the rest of that stress and I extend outwards. This will help you sharpen your McMurray's skill to really identify meniscal pathology.